I think he intended it to be thrown out of the exhibition when it was first created. Do you think so? Yes, definitely. Do you think it's still provocative? No, because we've been... So many things have happened in the meantime that provoke us a lot more. He certainly created a certain amount of provocation, and I wonder whether he therefore designed it not to be in the exhibition because of that. I don't find it beautiful, like... And when I look at it now, I see... I just see an idea. I, mean, I personally don't like it as a piece of art, but I don't think that matters at all. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's shocking now at all. I actually see something that, personally, I think it's, it's a bit of a half-baked concept. It's, it's not really doing what you're supposed to do, therefore it's, it's altered uh, quite a lot to try and provoke a reaction. And he obviously thought it was quite funny mm. to do it, and I suppose I like the humour in it. He wanted to make the point that craft isn't an important element in art, right. it's more the thought. So he was saying, you, you'll accept anything as art, w won't you? And they didn't, actually. It's, it's a piece of uh, porcelain, uh, it's a toilet. Uh, its only value is the idea that he assigned to that at the time. The activity and, and the discourse and debate that happens around it's crucially important. I mean, and it's led to artists doing things in hugely different ways. Yeah. This is the kind of thing that drives me loopy. <laughs> um, in one way, it turns me into a schizophrenic. In one way, I look at it and I think, oh, for God's sake, it's a toilet, it's a, a urinal. But in another way, I go, ah, oh, but everyone's going to go crazy about this. Everyone's going to start fighting and arguing and saying it's rubbish and others are going to say it's wonderful. And I love that then. I love it. And I just sort of find the concept of us all standing in a toilet, um, looking at a toilet that's not a toilet, a bit more interesting than the actual object itself, you know? It, it's been reproduced extremely carefully to, to replicate a throwaway object. It's mm. bizarre. But then the critics and the art historians come along and say, oh, this has a value because of X, Y and Z. It's, it's true, it's one of the biggest seismic shifts, not in art, just in our culture. And, you know, if you walked in here and just saw that, you'd say, oh, somebody's not f forgotten to mount that on the wall. Many, many people would say this is the most important work of art of the 20th century. If you have to be told how good it is, it's not that good. If you look at him as a painter, you know, he wasn't just somebody who, who created ideas, you know, he created paintings too. And they were and, quite and, aesthetically nice, yeah. And, and they, were, they were wonderful and they were well painted. It's a matter of opinion. If you think something is elevated to the status of art, then, then it is because of that. How do we then, in the art world, quantify what is good and what is bad, generally? You don't. Is that a good Everyone thing? Everyone has a personal opinion, opinion, opinion yeah. 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 Which, which, which makes it art. To anything yeah. that encourages lively discussion in this kind of manner is art. Mm -hmm.